Hi, I'm Tim Kilbride, physical therapist and spinal cord injury specialist here at Gaylord Specialty Healthcare. And today we're going to discuss autonomic dysreflexia. Autonomic dysreflexia is a serious and potentially life-threatening reaction of the autonomic nervous system. It's a reaction generally caused by a painful or irritating stimulus below the level of injury. Autonomic dysreflexia tends to affect people with an injury at level T6 or above, and it is considered a medical emergency that requires immediate treatment. Autonomic dysreflexia occurs when a painful or noxious stimuli occurs somewhere below the level of the spinal cord injury. The body responds to this with a reaction that causes the veins to constrict, and in response, the blood pressure starts to rise. Normally, the body would stop this process, but because of the spinal cord injury, it is unable to counter the rise in blood pressure. It's important to be aware of the symptoms of autonomic dysreflexia. Those include, obviously, high blood pressure, a pounding headache, uh, sweating above the level of your injury, it can include a slowed heart rate, flushed skin, nasal congestion, blurry vision, and or anxiety. Typically, autonomic dysreflexia is caused by a variety of painful or irritating stimuli. Um, it's important to try to identify the cause, and uh, common causes are things like an overfull bladder or a blocked catheter, uh, constipation or bowel impaction, uh, skin wounds, ingrown toenails or other uh, skin irritation, tight or wrinkled clothes, including like wrinkles in socks, infections, blood clots, burns, or anything else that might be considered painful below your level of injury. It's important to know what to do if you're experiencing symptoms of autonomic dysreflexia. The first thing to do is to sit up. Laying down tends to increase blood pressure further. After that, you want to quickly remove anything that is tight or pressed against the skin, especially including pressure garments if you wear them, such as compression socks or abdominal binders. Next, you need to try to find whatever the painful stimuli is. For instance, you might need to be catheterized or disimpacted in the bowel, or do a skin inspection to see if something's been pressing into your skin. If the symptoms do not quickly resolve, it is important to seek immediate medical attention. Thank you so much for joining me in this talk about autonomic dysreflexia.